YouTube, what is going on? Chris with Journos, Comics and Pop Culture. Guys, I made a video last week talking about how to make a nice little custom box out of USPS medium flat rate priority mail boxes. Um, I showed off this guy right here, put some books in it, and uh, voila. But now, I stepped it up a notch and I wanted to show you guys my completed project. This is, as this is, a medium flat rate priority mailer. Decorated with some awesome artwork all around. Got some Black Panther. All Marvel stuff. Spider-Man uh, 2099, some Doctor Doom, and uh, some Power of X. So, and, and then I have uh, just some some random Marvel comics in here. So uh, this um, this box was done. I will tell you guys how I did this. Um, so basically, I took the box, um, just like I showed in, in in the other video. You know, you just tape the bottom up. And you leave the, the top flaps up and they are connected. Except just like on this one, I did reinforce a couple of the sides with some tape just to make sure. And then I, funny, where these came from was a, um, a Marvel, um, uh, Marvel, Marvel previews book. <laughs> uh, and because as I said in the video I made last week, I cannot... I can't get myself to um, cut up combo books, even if they're like 50 cent books. Um, sometimes you can print them out like I did uh, my Spider-Man stuff over here, but that gets costly. You know, you're using color ink that gets nice and costly, man. So uh, I printed, uh, excuse me, I, I took apart, I took the staples out of a Marvel's previews book. Now, I also collect Marvel's previews, but I had uh, two issues of, of one and they're free. So I felt okay taking that out taking that apart so i took that apart i went through everything i cut stuff up and you can see here some of these are almost full pages that i put on the sides some of them are smaller and then i cut out some actual of the comic strips um and mod podge them let it dry overnight and and here you have it a nice custom marvel comic book box now the thing is that uh and i'm still this is only my second time using mod podge and the, the Mod Podge actually works as a protector, a coat, like a plastic coated protector. So you can't really like rip it unless you're really, I'm sure going at it, but you know that the edges are secured. Um, but one thing that I did notice is that you do get, or I did anyways, I got some wrinkles here and there and I don't mind it. Like it doesn't really, it doesn't take away from the color and the pop. Um, you know, it's not extremely prevalent and like i said I, I mean i don't mind it it doesn't ruin it at all but it would be something that i would like to learn how to uh minimize those you know they're kind of like air bubbles so there's there's got to be a way i'm sure i can uh watch some youtube videos and some how-to videos of folks that are actually like real hardcore mod podgers you know um but for now i am extremely happy with the outcome it looks awesome. I have so much more cutouts to do. Um, I probably have a couple more uh, previews that I can use as well. I, I want to get, I want to get a DC one, but I I don't know if I have any like DC preview books or anything that I would feel comfortable with uh, taking apart. But for now, this is just is uh, pretty awesome. And you know, I got the comma books all in here, um, and. As I showed in the other one, I just have a um, Gemini mailer that fits perfectly right in here just to alleviate the, the extra, you know, about almost an inch of space there. I mean, you could even leave it. You, you don't even need to do that. You don't. I mean, if you look at here, you know, it, it, as long as you're not like picking them up and, and moving them so where the books would slide, you know, you, you don't really need that reinforcement. They could still sit and work in there perfectly fine. But I mean, it helps. It helps. So, um there it is, guys. That is my custom Mod Podged Priority Mailbox comic book box. So let me know what you guys think. Leave some uh, comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time.